Okay, here they are, Netre Carter here at the rally. Now, I'm focusing on the Netre Carter. I was asked one of their Jews, and he said it was okay. Nonetheless, we're opposite the road now, but uh, okay, so from left, I recognise that guy with the glasses, the long beard, and those weird sideburns of the Vice video. Forgotten all their names. There's a few other guys. There's a notable guy in the middle there. Uh, I think his name's Rabbi Beck, I remember, and I remember him in the Vice video. I had to apologise reporter for following Jewish law to the letter and insisting that she, the lady had to sit in the very back of the car, I remember. Yes, I'm sorry, I remember he said. <laughs> Nonetheless, there's a few other Jews there. And there's CND and there's a Palestinian flag. So that is it. So the two things are not mutually exclusive. One could be a religiously observant, strictly orthodox Jew, and support the Palestinian cause, refuse to recognise Israel, and defend the Palestinian cause on a Palestine pro pro-Palestine protests. And have views like that. And not, surprisingly enough, be a scumbag, nor wear an explosive bomb bound your waist, nor blow yourself up, funnily enough. People say those people know better than Hamas, but this isn't true. These are just, you know, I'm not, don't take, get me wrong, all Jews are Jews. But these people just, they particular Jews, like any other Jews, but they just have slightly different beliefs, oh, right, significantly different beliefs and philosophy to mainstream Judaism. So what? They're Jews, just as Jews are Jews. So these people are Muslim, wouldn't show them too long purpose because I haven't got their permission, you know. Um, even amongst Muslims, funny enough, you'll find different view, views on Zionism, like Islamic views can range from anything from full-blown support for an Israeli Jewish state from river to the sea, in other words, hardline Zionism to hardline Palestinian nationalism to supporting a two-state solution, a binational state and federation, or pretty much anything in the middle. Nonetheless, Here's the Netra Carter, and just a similar with Judaism, you get the same kind of thing in Judaism, you can have anything in Judaism from full-blown support for the Israeli state from the river to the sea, to a, wanting a Palestinian state from the river to the sea, to want two states by national state arrangement or confederation or whatever. People need to avoid conflating politics and religion. They are two separate beasts, you know. The stereotype that these people aren't Jews, they support Palestine, is wrong. They are true Jews, just like all other true Jews are true Jews. And that's it. They're not the only true Jews. Other true Jews are true Jews, regardless of their position on, is on uh, Middle Eastern politics. But these true Jews just happen to have a, you know, it's, it's just an odd view on Judaism, I'm not Judaism, so Zionism, amongst Jews. And that's all. They don't deserve to be, you know, attacked for their views. They're not scum, they're not self-hating, they're not terrorists, they're just an extra Carter. You know, we can tolerate all sorts of weird things in life. We can tolerate Jews with exotic political views. And uh, that I happen to agree with their views on Zionism to an extent, I want that its Zionist state peacefully dismantled as well, does not make me a Jew-baiter. Thank you.